Welcome back everyone to this week's technical. For those of you who aren't familiar with the channel, these technical videos are short, focused looks at specific topics related to farm animal health, welfare and performance. At the time of making this video, it is March 2022 and here in the UK we are starting to hit our stride in terms of lambing and calving. This week's technical is related to just that topic. This week I have a mission and this applies to all of you that lamb use or carve cows. It's to get you to make one definitely life changing and potentially life saving change to what you do. And it's a change that all of you could make tomorrow. Now that change is to start wearing gloves when you are lambing ewes or calving cows. And I know from experience talking to farmers, there will be some of you behind that camera who already wear gloves, that's fantastic. And there will be just as many of you who are smiling skeptically because you've always done it without a glove and things have been just fine. Why would you go to the bother of making a change? Why complicate things? And I should say, when I started lambing sheep for the first several years, did I ever wear gloves? Nope, I was going with the flow. I was learning lots already. And to be honest, it never even occurred to me. Only when I went to vet school did I realize that importance of hygiene and biosecurity. And it's a change that's really simple and you can make it now. There are three major reasons why you should wear gloves. Number one, it's for the livestock. Imagine you're a patient at a hospital and you saw a midwife or a doctor going between patients without washing their hands and without wearing gloves. I think it's safe to say you'd be pretty alarmed. That doctor or midwife wouldn't be practicing for very long and for good reason. I think it's fair to say that sheep and cattle are tougher than humans, but that doesn't mean there aren't benefits to not deliberately exposing them to bugs when we're carving them or lambing them. Going back to that medical example, in the grand scheme of things, it's actually quite a recent change that medical professionals have made to start disinfecting themselves, their instruments, and to start wearing gloves. Those guys who advocated it right at the start were thought of as being a bit strange. Plenty of people thought those practices would never ever become commonplace. And of course they are, they're fundamental now. Number two is for yourself. So as vets, we drive around farms all spring and you see plenty of people with a fairly non-specific dermatitis on their hands and arms. Now, the exact reason for that, I'm not entirely clear on whether it's a reaction to repeated exposure to amniotic fluid, whether it's all the subsequent scrubbing and just scrubbing to get all the goo off, whether it's a combination of both, I'm not sure. But in either of those cases, wearing a glove is going to prevent it. And if you have the misfortune of going to a nasty, smelly, rotten carving or lambing, if you don't wear a glove, that smell is gonna linger on your skin for days. It's gonna be very unpleasant. Again, avoid all of that with a glove. And besides that non-specific dermatitis, the bad smell, you can also pick up some other infections this way. So for example, we had a client who'd carved a cow. She ended up becoming a little bit sick. So I ended up going and seeing her. While I was there, the farmer asked me, what do you think I should do about my arm? And when I looked at it, on the arm he'd carved that cow with, he had a nasty pustular rash from his cuff to his hand. Of course, what I said was, go and see GP, which they did. And interestingly, it got cultured as listeria. That is just one example of how you can pick up a nasty infection while carving a cow or lambing a sheep. The third and final reason in my mind to wear a glove, and that is for the people around you. Hopefully plenty of you are aware, and this relates mainly to lambing, that pregnant women or women who might be pregnant shouldn't be around lambing sheep. And that's because several of the most common infectious causes of lambing can also affect pregnant women with similarly devastating consequences. And the most common cause of infectious abortion in sheep, which is enzootic abortion of ewes, can be inhaled as well as ingested. So there are some rather distressing case reports in the literature about women who've contracted this illness and lost babies and got very sick themselves, despite not being in any direct contact with livestock. Instead, it was their spouses who worked with lambing sheep or kidding goats, they came back home and through some means, whether that was inhalation or ingestion, that infection was transmitted to their partners who then got very sick. So remember, if you're lambing sheep and calving cattle, it's not just about what you could catch or about what you could transfer between livestock, it's what you could carry home to vulnerable people. So that's why I think if you lamb sheep or you calve cows, you should wear a glove. When I say that to people, there are normally two counter arguments. One is cost and to be honest guys, you can buy a bag of long gloves and a bag of regular gloves, probably for less than 10 or 15 quid. And unless you have a phenomenal amount of sheep or cattle, it's gonna get you through a couple of springs. And guys, if the business can't invest that small amount in protecting the livestock and the people around them, 
what are we doing? The second, which I have a little bit more sympathy for, is that when you've been lambing and carving for a long time without using gloves, when you go to using gloves, it all feels different. And so it throws you off. To be honest, it is a little different. But what I'm saying is all those benefits we talked about outweigh that short period of adjustment where you get used to it, you get used to lamy or carving with a glove. So yes, there will be a slightly awkward period of adjustment. Guys, it won't take long and it is gonna be worth doing. It's worth persevering to reap all those benefits. I lamb ewes and I carve cows with gloves on and if I can do it, you can definitely do it. If you're lambing a ewe and she already has the legs out and you don't think you're gonna to have to go in further than your wrist, I would just wear a regular hand glove. If you're going to have to go further in than that, or if you're going to carve a cow, what I would do is put on a long glove and then a regular glove over it. The reason I like to do that is because those long gloves often have quite a lot of spare material around the fingers. And by putting a regular glove over that, it sort of collects that up and gives you some of your feel back. Some people will complain that these long gloves fall down their arm as they're trying to work on, which they can do. But to get around that, there are a couple of solutions. You can either get cuffs that are elasticated, or if you're really fancy, you can get these gloves that come with a little tab at the end. You see that pulls away. You then put the glove on. You find that makes a loop. You loop that over, double over the loop, then pull it up your arm, and that makes your cuff. Now, if you haven't splashed out on a long glove with elasticated cuffs, or one that comes with these loops, what you can do, find the end of your glove, you pull that, you tie it in a little knot to tighten up the arm, tie that tight. You're left with a much smaller cuff there and you wear that over and it tightens over your arm, just like that. Of course, it helps if you've got decent arms. So if in doubt, get to the gym. So that's it for this one, hopefully nice and short and hopefully not too preachy. Like I said, did I ever used to wear gloves? No. Would I go back to not wearing gloves? Definitely not. So if you're lambing and carving now or you're about to start, I highly recommend you go and get some gloves. And if you like that video, don't be afraid to click subscribe for more. Ring the little bell so you get updates about new videos. Give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Otherwise, I will see you next time.